These races are so exciting to watch. Today we are looking at the first round at the women's 100m at the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary. Yesterday we've already seen a stunning performance at the first round at the men's 100m. Oblixivil went completely crazy in his first race. In stunning 9.86 he equaled his personal record and also beat world champion Fred Curley. We can be excited for the semi-final and the final tonight. Last year one female sprinter absolutely dominated at the world championships in Eugene, Shelley and Fraser Price. She won the world championships again in 10.67 in front of Sharika Jackson and Elaine thompson Hara. This season the powerhouse Shelley Ann had injury problems almost the whole season. One month before heading to the world championships, she opened up her season over 100 meters. In a solid time of 10.82, the Jamaican finished first. Only two days later she also won the meeting in Madrid, Spain in 10.83. It will be very exciting to see if Shelly Ann is able to defend her title. Good chance to medal has also Julian Alfred. She won the NCAA championships over 100 meters in wind aided 10.72. The athlete from St. Lucia also beat Shakir Richardson middle of July at the Hungarian Athletic Grand Prix in 10.89. Dina Escher-Smith showed also in her last competition in London in 10.85 that she's ready for the World Championships. Now we have three more athletes who just went crazy the whole season. Marie-José Talou won two Diamond League races. In Norway and in Great Britain, the Ivorian just dominated in a time of 10.75. The American spin star Shakir Richardson recovered well from a frustrating season 2022. After not making the team last year, Shakir improved her personal record to 10.71 in the heat at the US Championships. Richardson won also two Diamond League races in a time of 10.76. At the last two major championships, no American won a medal over 100 meters. Shakir is for sure able to change that. The fastest female 100 meter sprinter this season is Rerika Jackson. At the Jamaican Championships she stormed to the finish line in outstanding 10.65, world leading time and personal record. Surprisingly she never won any Diamond League races over 100 meters this season. We can be also excited how fast the Jamaican will race over 200 meters. Last year she raced the second fastest time in history in 21.45. In the first heat Julian Alfred directly showed the world her shape in 10.99 in front of Daryl Nata who also qualified herself for the next round in 11.03. In Heat 3 one athlete I didn't mention yet raced pretty solid this morning. Eva Svoboda from Poland ran a time of 10.98 and won in front of Tamari Davis 11.06. In the fourth heat one of the favorites for gold just shocked through the round. Sharika Jackson took it easy and won in 11.06. In Heat 5 the American sprint star Shakir Richardson had her first run for the US. I can already say she ran the fastest time this morning in an amazing 10.92. Shakari looked very relaxed and fast. We all know she is in the shape of her life. Marie-José Talou ran a solid time of 11.08. She also raced around 60 meters and just jogged through the line. In the last heat, world champion, Olympic champion, the Jamaican sprint legend Shelley and Fraser Price had her first race at the world championships in Hungary. She ran the solid time of 11.01 and also qualified herself for the next round. Here you can see the list of the 10 fastest 100 meter sprinter this morning. It's good to see that all medal contenders are healthy and ready for the semi-final. We can be so excited to watch it tomorrow. Now my question for you, who's your favorite for the win at the women's 100 meters? Let me know in the comments. If you missed a detailed review of the women's 100 meters in Budapest, click up in the right corner. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.